Ana Lu is a singer-songwriter born in Buenos Aires, Argentina, who has made her home in Winnipeg the last few years. Her music fuses Latin pop rock with Argentine folk, jazz, and Latin American rhythms, tango, and even a little bit of flamenco thrown in for good measure. She's joined me in the Classic 107 studio this morning ahead of her music in Maven's daytime concert tomorrow, February 25th, with the Ana Lu Quartet. She's going to be performing live in studio to, uh, to open this uh, 107 Live. <laughs> De la Sierra Morena, cielito lindo viene bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tienes, cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie. Cielito lindo que a mí me toca Ay, 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 ay Canta y no llores Porque cantando se alegran Cielito lindo los corazones Ay, 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 ay Canta y no llores Porque cantando se alegran cielito lindo los corazones una flecha en el aire cielito lindo lanzó cupido me la tiró jugando cielito lindo y a mí mi herido Todas las ilusiones, cielito lindo que el amor fragua, son como las espumas, cielito lindo que forma el agua. Ay, 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 canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegra, cielito lindo, los corazones. How beautiful was that? Ana Lu live in studio. Ana, Ana that was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it really, really was. And I was going to ask you, what did we just hear? But I think that was one of those pieces of music that we were all singing along to. So, so tell us a little bit about that song. It doesn't need much introduction. No, it really but doesn't. It's a traditional Mexican song that uh, composer Quirino, I think was his last name, he made it popular at the end of the 19th century. And it's very common for, for every performer to add a lyric. Uh, so I added a third verse that you can listen tomorrow at the concert. Ah. Um, and yeah, it's a, it, the, the chorus, ay, 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 cante no llores means sing, don't cry, because singing, uh, all the hearts like cheer up. Oh. It's very beautiful. Oh, well, uh, my heart has been cheered with that I, performance. It was, it, it was does that, right? Uh, it really does. The I mean, melody the, has it. Oh, it me? does. It just it, it has the whole feel. It, it gets you right on the heartstrings. Um, yeah. Anna, it's been a few years since you've been in the studio. Mm-hmm. I think you were last in a couple years ago. Yeah, the, it's, it was always uh, it was a bit over a year. I yeah, was yeah. pregnant with my baby, oh. so I remember. Uh, I was going to say, I'm <laughs> sure you probably remember it well. And oh, I was, yes. <laughs> I was going to ask you, what have you been up to the last little while? But but you're a mom. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, it's very exciting. I've been doing that <laughs> and, and getting back to the stage. And getting back to the stage, um, yeah, the yeah. last few months. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you've become such a a part of the Latin American and music communities here in town. You and your your husband Julian mm-hmm. um, have been here for about five years now, four. right? Well, four. It's going to be four in April. Oh well, I mean, it really must feel like home. Um, but I, I want to at least talk a little bit about your old homes, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, beginning in, in Buenos Aires. Uh, mm-hmm. You grew up in a musical family, though not a, a family of professional musicians, right? No, that's right. But very musical family. Uh, my dad plays folk music in the guitar 
very well. And my mom is a, an amazing singer. So I grew up listening to them sing songs that now I choose for my repertoire. And I love them and I, they remind me of them. And they mean so much to me now. Um, your, your dad, uh, I, I think a, a lawyer, right? Yeah, he's a lawyer. Yeah, and you also studied law for a while? Yes. He's like, uh, so I mean, you're, you're you have really to follow of, in that step. I was going to say, you're really following uh, in the family footsteps in terms of uh, kind of law, but also just keeping up this, this beautiful tradition of, of guitar mm. and, and with singing. Um, uh, from, from your musical upbringing, um, b- back home in Buenos Aires, you decided to, to kind of forego law and pursue <laughs> music further. And you went to one of the most prestigious music schools in the world. You, you went to Berkeley. College of Music. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how can we not talk a little bit about Berkeley? Can, oh, yes. can you tell us about your time there and, oh, and yeah. about the connections you made when, when you were in the States? Yeah, it's such, Berkeley is such such a ma- magical place. Um, like, for to start with, I had never seen so many musicians together in the same place. And there are people from all over the world. And there are workshop, workshops for music from all over the world. So you just can't help but evolve, you know, because you're absorbing so much all the time. And I had some amazing opportunities that can also happen in a place like that, like working with this um, producer, Javier Limon, who was my teacher and he was awesome. And and we did a video for a huge artist. Um, Then I got to go to the Latin Grammys. That was Alejandro Sanz, yeah? Yeah, Alejandro Sanz. He's just like the biggest biggest star in the uh, songwriting Spanish world. Um, So yeah, it changed me. Yeah, it did, I right? wouldn't be the artist I am today without having gone to Berkeley. Um, you, you talk about your time working with uh, Javier Limon, mm-hmm. um, not only a kind of a teacher for you, but also a mentor and, and, and an influence, um, also in, in, in producing, right? It mm-hmm. wasn't it wasn't just being a singer, a songwriter, but all that comes with oh, yeah. being a musical artist in, in you know the 21st yes. century now. Are, are you still doing a lot of production in addition to the singing songwriting? Oh, yeah. Like every time I, I want to release uh, music, um, I do the whole production, yeah. uh, and I work with my husband as well. But yeah, I, I get to use that all the time. No, oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, your 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 fingerprints are on everything that you do, right? From from beginning to end. Um, so, uh, speaking of experiences, um, you're here to talk to us a little bit about the Music and Mavens concert tomorrow afternoon. Um, Viaje al Sur? Yes. Did I say it right? Yes, you said it right. perfectly. Uh, so I think that means journey to the south. It does. Tell us a little bit about that musical journey that you're going to be taking listeners on. Yeah. Um, so it was um, Carla's idea, and she, she wanted to take people, the audience, we are taking them to a trip to the south. So I, I picked uh, songs from different countries in South America, and we're going to be talking a little, a little bit about the song, and then I'll, I'll show a couple of pictures of that have to do with the origin of the song. And then the lyrics are going to be displayed in English on a screen so people will understand what the songs are about, which I think it's very important. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so we hopefully we want to transport people a little bit. I think uh, people will welcome that. I know it's warmer today, but tomorrow it's supposed to cool off a little bit. And I think people will appreciate that <laughs> in a, a February concert in, in yes. Winnipeg to, to travel mm-hmm. south with that warm music. Um, you're going to be joined up on stage. Uh, it, it is the Analu Quartet. Mm-hmm. Tell us about who you'll be playing with tomorrow. Well, I'll be playing with my partner, Julian, always, um, who is also a musical director. And with Jill Funia, which bass player you all know. Yeah, yeah he's been on before. Yeah, yeah. And Papa Mambo. Rodrigo Muñoz, who also doesn't need an introduction. So what can I say? It's so enjoyable. Like, it's such a privilege to to do this show, to share this music, to play with these amazing musicians. It's pure joy. Do you guys get to perform together often? Who? All, all of you together, the, 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 the four of you. I mean, obviously, yeah, you, yeah. you get to play with Julian pretty pretty regularly, I yeah, would imagine. Yeah, play all the time. Yeah, but, but to, to turn to Gilles and, and to turn to Rodrigo, yeah. do you guys get to play together as often as you'd like? Or, no, or, yeah. I'd like to play with them every week. <laughs> um, but no, it only happens when, when we have a concert where we have like a budget to hire more musicians, and then I usually go to them. Yeah, it's a pretty special opportunity for, for audiences to see uh, such such outstanding players all coming together on the stage. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, we just heard a, a pretty... And we're going to end this, this conversation with another piece of music. Mm-hmm. What, what are we going to hear? Well, I, I didn't choose originals today because tomorrow I'll be doing some originals, but it will also be Latin American music mostly. So this next one is an Argentine samba, which is not the same as Brazilian samba. Uh, the Argentine samba is a slower and more melancholic. And this song talks about the carnival in Argentina and about someone wishing they could make 
someone else fall in love with them. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right, so here it is, live in the studio on a loop. studio you just heard Anna Lu performing an Argentine Samba another 107 live ahead of her performance tomorrow as part of the Music and Maven's daytime concert series um, the concert includes Latin American classics along with Anna Lu's original music 2 p.m. tomorrow down at the Rady JCC Anna Lu thanks for being here this morning thank you very much Sip.